Mm-hmm. Um, but if we're on a mission, if we're on an energetic mission, like, you know, you had this today, I guarantee you, no matter what would have come up or what came up, and I have no idea what came up, but I'm sure one or two things might have happened. Mm-hmm. But you just face it, deal with it, let go of the fear of it, and then mm-hmm. move on, right. move forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and I think you just said something, fear. You know, for me, I, I identify with my personal experience and personal work with the the warrior archetype. And anytime I'm faced with fear or anytime I come up against fear, that's like a beacon for me to pinpoint, okay, there is my inner work. Anytime right. I'm faced with that, it's, it's so um, blaringly obvious to me and so uncomfortable that I have to dive into it and that I choose to dive into it. And any place that you feel kind of that distortion in your life, if you wake up and you're unhappy about something something doesn't feel good there's a reason it doesn't feel good there's Mm -hmm. a reason why you know you're 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 feeling that energy and if you really kind of step into what it means to face your fears and look at them as an incredible tool for transformation and growth and evolution and and knowledge bringing yourself knowledge these are these are the opportunities that present themselves to you in this life. We all sit around and we wonder what is this life? Like what are we what are we fucking doing here? Mm-hmm. What is this bullshit? Yeah. You know, from my perspective, the way that I feel is this is the place that refines the entirety of the cosmic consciousness. Mm-hmm. Every single one of us embodies this mirror, this embodiment of that cosmic consciousness, which is the polarities, the dualities, and and the opportunity to go through life and refine yourself against those polarities and dualities. And in the same way, you are contributing to the cosmos, cosmic consciousness growing and evolving in itself. We are all an alive organism working with each other, you know, depending on each other, like an intricate clockwork. And the more that we choose to participate, mm-hmm. the more that we end up giving the, the opportunity for the entire intelligence to evolve. You know, mm-hmm. I truly believe we are, we are one And this experience. There's just a tiny, tiny little bit of it, mm-hmm. you know, right. tiny, tiny little bit of it right here. And, um, if we take the opportunities in each moment to dive head on, you know, with our hearts open, we are expanding the consciousness of everything that exists in eternity. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of the, if I could add one more thing, mm-hmm. Please. you know, all this, I mean, this group today, I just call them the galactic group. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it was, it's like, um, look at what it's, it's a type of disclosure that, you know, Corey is, uh, Michael Sal has been doing this for several years, mm-hmm. but then, you know, now Corey has come in, um, and of course, Laura has done her thing, and, and um, but it's just, Corey coming in, it's like, to me, that was a whole new aspect mm-hmm. of, you know, the program, the, mm-hmm. you know, what's been hidden, the secret space yes. program. Mm-hmm. Um We've been aware, many of us have been aware of higher beings, you know, galactic guides, whatever you want to call them. Um, but this this whole thing about the secret space program, that was one thing that always puzzled me. It says, well, I occasionally I've seen lights moving. Mm-hmm. I've seen things moving. And I've seen videos, mm-hmm. but they look like either, some of them look like metallic craft. Some look like orbs of light. Right. right. Then now that we start learning more about the secret space program and and all the aspects of it, and the people who've gone back through, you know, through history, William Tompkins and uh, uh, Mm -hmm. what's his name, the other guy, Clifford Stone, Stone Stone and the other guy. Uh, (laughs) I don't don't know him. They're all named the other guy, the other (laughs) girl, the other lady. (laughs) Uh, But that, to me, that was so valuable that it brought that layer of. You know, this is really what's been going on, mm-hmm. and what yes. you see in Captain America, mm. right. the Winter, the Winter oh, Soldier, yeah. yes, really is true. Mm-hmm. You know, these are like holy, holy moly. You know, it's like really a, but that whole, you know, and the fact that this whole ex- conversation has been going on, mm-hmm. and um, um, so anyway, right this, on. This, this group tonight was like. It was a powerhouse for sure. I yeah. will, and it's just I will tell you the 
the energy, oh my goodness, the energy, folks, the energy here and the energy. I don't know how you felt, Justin, but mm -hmm. when, when I was sitting here, I, I don't even have a vocabulary word mm -hmm. for the energy that was sitting at this, that not just at this table, in the next room. Mm -hmm. And sure. there is mm -hmm. lovely Renee, by the way, folks, who did a bueno job tonight uh, in production. Yeah. So Absolutely. thank you, Renee. We love you. Mm -hmm. And in the folks in the other room as well. And that energy, I, I, yeah. it, it's, mm -hmm. you know what? It's just that. It's, Definitely. Mm -hmm. it's that breath of air and it's, it's, what else do you want? It's, mm -hmm. it's that. That's, that's. <clears throat> <laughs> and for for each group like this that came together that are a little bit more public, maybe in mm -hmm. our internet realm, mm -hmm. there's, I know there's several other, you know, several groups several. all over the place that mm -hmm. you don't hear about. Right. You won't hear about them. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, whether they're here, Peru, Bolivia, mm, uh, right. Africa, Egypt, yeah. uh, China, Tibet. I mean, there's so many people that, like you were saying, uh, uh, that just work quietly and simply absolutely mm. and and right you know connect and that's one thing i really got out of Corey's recent update is he said that everybody's playing a part you know we, we were having a discussion on the write-up um mm -hmm. about you know what we do and what our passion is and and um somebody said that well you know i'm not doing what you guys are doing and I was, I said, well, no, yes. but mm. yes, you're not doing what I'm doing, but that doesn't make it any less important. You know, <laughs> what you Ooh. do is an <laughs> instrumental part of everything. So we, it looks like we got Renee with the microphone over there. <laughs> there and since go. that yeah. was you, do you want to chime in? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Folks, this is Renee. Everybody give him a, a, an energy wave. Ready, get, said, go. <laughs> so I'm here in the control room and, um, that whole question about the um, about the inner work and one of the things that's really been hitting me lately is um, the details um, what's happening or what may happen or what's going to happen or what has happened the details really don't matter mm. so but we get caught up in this external idea of wanting to exchange the details or, you know, exchange the details of the lies with the details of the truth. But really, it's what we do with that information, regardless of what it is. Yeah. It's how we process it and then how we choose to express into the world. So the inner work is us fine-tuning our portal of expression because we are bringing into this realm, mm -hmm. um, whatever it is that we choose to channel, whatever it is we choose to express, whatever it is that we choose to act upon. And I think that that's perhaps probably where there's a 300,000, they probably don't give a shit about the secret space program. I'm not trying to right. diss any of this movement, but I'm just saying they are on about being in their heart and yes. taking care of people, taking care of their family, taking care of their integrity, taking care of, um, they're just, they're just living that fullness of expression. And, and so to me, that's the, the new challenge being present to all this information and to not get caught up in the details and right. to really, who am I going to be regardless of what shows up? Right. Certainly, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's kind of why we have this platform with looking out for within, is because, mm -hmm. especially with secret space program stuff, it's all sometimes it, the focus can be on the nuts and bolts mm -hmm. details. Totally. And we're just exchanging facts, like, well, no, Corey said this, and you know, Kramer said this, and this mm -hmm. guy said that, and right. the meaning of it and what that means for us in our personal journey can sometimes we get lost in it, you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when we talk about doing the inner work, the way I, a question I like to ask myself is what have I done to change myself for the better today? Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. if you're not proactively doing something, then it's kind of like, you're just letting the train run you instead of you run the train. Definitely. Right. So be, be, be a doer. Yeah, it comes doer. down yep. to, and I've just do be a doer. And, and, you know, it's, um, 
you know, the people that are feeling, it, I, doesn't matter what, you know, why would I do that? It's not going to make an impact. It does. The smallest pebble dropping into a pond, mm -hmm. there's still a tiny, tiny little Yeah, pebble. absolutely. And, and it's, so just, just start from within yourself. Look within yourself and ask you, are, who, who are you without your story? Mm. Go really deep. Who are you without a story, without your story? And start there and really learn about your body, your soul, your essence, your light, your what. And from there, that's where you, you, you spark that seed, that little groovy bean, <laughs> and that change starts to happen. And then from there, that little sprout happens and it grows and it grows and it grows and bam, then you're, mm -hmm. then you're, then you're reaching out from within, right? Oh, right. And yeah. that is what this is about too. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. When, when you think about, um, you know, certain parts of, especially Corey's update, when he talks about right now is this small window for us to get our shit together for the most optimal mm -hmm. timeline. Mm -hmm. Right. That. That is a call to action for everyone mm -hmm. right now. And we are going to get a slap in the face if it doesn't happen. Right. This is not something that we can just sit by as a community of human beings waiting for someone to rescue us, mm -hmm. waiting for something to change. This is about direct action, direct movement, direct participation. Where is your piece? You're sitting at home right now listening. You can't be there. We're sitting here. It doesn't matter. Where is your piece in each moment where you are taking direct action in this now? Where do you create the change? Where do you stop arguing with each other about who said what? What is this or what is it now? Where do you take change in your small community, in your town, in your family, in your relatives? Where do you start opening up dialogue about these things? Where do we as truth seekers finally go, I give up on the duality. I'm going to hold it down. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm mm -hmm. going to represent myself authentically to everyone that I interact with. And this means the world to me because it means the world to everyone right now. And I will stand in that and I will know my truth and I will be that person. I will be that beacon of light. I will be that voice that I know is coming through me. And when you have that and when you hold that, that affects everyone mm -hmm. those those places of truth and compassion people feel them on a core level it strips through the conditioning it strips through the walls the heart-centered consciousness and communication and direct spirit communication those are the places that you really inspire others and right now we need to be inspired mm -hmm. we need to have a wake-up call we need to be shaken violently till all of the stuff shakes off and the only thing that remains is our true self. Mm -hmm. Start stripping those away. Start doing it. Start, you know, working in a community because there is not a lot of time. And that is one message that is coming through on multiple channels right now. There is not a lot of time for us. Mm -hmm. Please act, you know, mm -hmm. please, please act. That's a, that's a message that comes from yes. my core completely. Yes. Now, yeah. now for a, a, say a new, new person tuning in going, what are they talking about this time? What are that? Why are they saying? we're running out of time mm. how what what could you say to a new listener or someone what are you talking about i think it comes to from my perspective and this is my perspective only and mm -hmm. you know i'm sharing it because it's my truth we're coming to a head in evolution if you want to look at it that way in consciousness evolution in spiritual evolution in cosmic evolution and there are cyclical things that are part of the natural rhythms of this cosmic universe that we all inhabit and it's coming up to that time right now and for some reason earth here has become this hotbed for you know, we're, we're like every, everyone's waiting on bated breath. They're looking at us. Can we pull it off? Mm -hmm. Can we pull it off? Can this group of people that are a mishmash of all these DNAs, you know, that are existing in this control matrix that, you know, is an enigma wrapped in an enigma. Can these people strip this down and be those heroes and actually defeat this and actually transcend, actually ascend, you know, mm -hmm. those are, those are the places to me that, that I feel are, are, that are happening right now. This is, this is my connection to what I feel right now and why it's so important. And I know that if it doesn't happen, it's 
reset. We got to do it over again, you know? And you know what? Maybe that's what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. I personally don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I personally believe that we can do this. What's the reset for somebody that's just... You know, the reset is you go back through the cycle of karma, in my opinion. You go back from source. You're recycled back through. Your essence, your energy is put back through, which is a very, very natural part of this existence. And that is what it is. But the opportunity that exists here is to grow and evolve the consciousness in a massive way. We are holding that as human beings here. We are the, you know, we're we're the we're we're, we're the not sure bet. We're mm-hmm. the we're the 50 to 1 odds, you mm-hmm. know. But um yeah. You know. Well, I think it's it, what's important to realize is that you have an opportunity to make a difference right now, mm-hmm. even if it's just the way that you think about a situation so for example um kp you had mentioned the cruise control so i'll use that as an example you wanted Mm. cruise control and you're Mm. having it ride up and for anybody who's gone on a long trip you know (laughs) it's a nice thing to have long trip with 105 degrees yeah right (laughs) (laughs) but you know when when you when the light what is the saying when life hands you lemonade lemons you make lemonade and that's kind of that's been my process for the past year and even before that is that you know there's things that happen in life and we weren't expecting them they're not what we wanted and it's very easy to slip into this disempowered negative consciousness where you're depreciating your experience instead of appreciating your experience and you're not in gratitude you're in lack so you know how did you go through that internal shift Mm -hmm. in yourself from seeing something that you wanted, realizing it wasn't going to be there, and now you've got to make lemonade, basically. Well, just sometimes I don't go through it smoothly. Sure. You know? It's It's like... I don't think anybody does. (laughs) (laughs) I'm calling this rental car company, and I said, did you know you gave me a car without cruise control? And I said, there's nothing we can do because, you know, it's up to you, blah, 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 Mm -hmm. blah. And of course... It just came to mind that one of the best shows, if you want to watch about dysfunctionality, hmm. is a, either Seinfeld or Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> Great shows. Yeah. And it's like everything, is, of course, most traditional TV shows are kind of like that. Everything is everybody else's fault. Right. Yeah. And there's no responsibility for you. Right. You made me do this. Mm-hmm. You made, you, you, and it's sort of like, again, when you start to accept, you know, be that be the galactic citizen you are, you will get messages in different ways of where you need mm-hmm. to, might need to, what you might need to let go of. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. And again, yes, it, it is. A lot of it is guidance. You know, it might feel like terrible stuff at the at the moment. The ego really thinks it's a terrible stuff, but you know. The the galaxy, the cosmos is looking at this as oh wow, what a great chance! Right? How many how right. many of us do you think wanted to incarnate in your planet? Right. At this time, right. With yes. these people, right. And gosh, what an opportunity! Mm, wow. Right. Yeah, and just you know? thinking about that idea, <laughs> yeah. you know, sometimes I'll just sit still and appreciate what you just described, like that. I literally chose to come here at this time in history. When, if you look back at the past 5,000 years of human history, it's been not a nice place. You know, Mm. the things that we're talking about right now in the air, if we were talking about them 50 years ago, we could be dragged away into, you know, disappear into some kind of prison. So, Mm. you know, we're really at this cutting edge moment and uh, just taking an opportunity to enjoy and to make the fullest of your own life. Just that mm-hmm. is monumentally huge. Like I cannot stress, I could go into the science about how you integrate with, you know, in, into the galactic energy fields and the scalar wave energies come in through when you invoke a state of gratitude <laughs> and all that. <laughs> but the bottom line is, is that when you are in gratitude and appreciation for your life, you feel better, you feel more empowered and life is just amazing. And if that's not enough, I don't know what it is, you know what I mean? So, Definitely. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think it's really important. Do I feel a new blog post coming on? (laughs) (laughs) New sit show. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Shoot. (sighs) What a night! This has been amazing. The chat's still going. We sure appreciate you all chatting in there. 
Um, I do have a question. You want to ask them one question? Yeah, I, Chris? I, I see. It says, how can you tell when extraterrestrials are controlling someone's being? Well, I'll just share that when you're in control of yourself, nobody can touch you, whether it's an extraterrestrial, an entity attachment, your own twisted ego, whatever it is. So when, you're, when your mind and your heart and your physical beingness are in one, then you're in control. So that's the way to, t that's my way of telling when I'm in control. Mm. When I, when I notice I'm not in control is when I'm acting impulsively. So um, it's like, this happens a lot at night because I kind of have this like munchy fix at night or I'll walk into the kitchen and I feel myself feeling drawn to something. And if I don't mind my thoughts, I'll, my body is literally moving towards something and I'm just watching it happen. You know, so mm -hmm. there's this, there's this automatic kind of built in, we're running on autopilot. And I feel like that when you're in autopilot, that's when, you know, negative entities and things like this can really come in and influence you because you aren't present in yourself. Definitely. So, mm -hmm. Definitely. I think you, you just nailed it. That, how to no, go. you said it perfectly. Okay. <laughs> 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 right right yeah. What's another, another blog post? Another blog post. Do you want to add to that? KP? Have you, um, KP, have you met any extraterrestrials? Well, in my in my own way, I I, I have. I, I can't say I've seen any physical or you know three D looking or. Uh -huh. But I've seen various. They usually take. I mean, who who was it that was showing the photos today? Derek. Derek. Oh my God. Yeah, and Derek, if you're listening, you should be sitting here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where are yeah you? Derek. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're. At the times, there have been times when I've gotten communication that mm -hmm. they're, they're something higher up with, or what do you want to call it that, sure. was, was watching or, uh -huh. you know, interacting, wanted to interact. And yeah. it was one time it was just moving lights in the, in the sky, moving. Yes. It would move mm -hmm. when I sent love to them. And mm. uh, um, You know... I think part of the reason that they come, you know, they might come to us in, in various ways mm -hmm. is to show us that it's all within, it's all inside of us. We're, no matter what we, you know, whatever limited ideas we have about our own selves, our true selves, mm -hmm. that's who we are. We're them, mm -hmm. you know, we're getting the guidance. And that's why I feel it's really helped, has helped me to start to see, you know, to, my higher self needs to connect. If there is a connection, it's got to be my higher self doing mm -hmm. the connection. Right. Not me doing it because something's pulling me by. Right. Yeah. By the nose or by uh by uh um you know just getting po pissed off about anything mm -hmm. everything. Um, but it's really follow, listening to the higher inner guidance. Mm -hmm. Um. So. You know, a lot of times, I guess the only thing I see a lot of times when I'm doing on these, going on these journeys is that, I mean, I really did ask. I asked today, I said, you know, I need your guidance. I need your protection. I want your protection. I want your guidance. Just protect me to get from mm -hmm. Sacramento <laughs> up to Reading <laughs> through into Costco for one short trip yeah. and out. And just... Occasionally, I will I will actually see an image, which of course is my image, of Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. You know, just sort of with a sword out there, yeah, not sure. not there to whack anybody, but just as a protective spirit. Right. But that protection is within each right. one of us. Certainly. Absolutely. Um, I don't know. Does oh, that make any beautiful. sense? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I wanted to just touch on um, what I I thought that what Michael said about the the diplomatic work yeah i thought was really important because one thing that i've kind of thought is that we need to get out of this um uh celebrity and fan base kind of mindset that we're in yeah. right now Definitely. where you know don't get me wrong like the, the figures that are especially here are doing the good work but yeah. that's not at the expense of the people who are listening to them man. absolutely you know we each have this amazing ability 
and experience that we've been nurturing our whole lives mm -hmm. that we can bring to the table. And one of the ways to do that is to do outreach and, mm. and speak to others. And it doesn't have to be about the secret space program. It could be about you know anything. Sometimes just giving somebody an opportunity to share themselves and you just listening definitely is huge because you know one thing we were talking about earlier is that people are coming from all these different walks of life here and they don't get an opportunity to really express themselves mm -hmm. and thinking about all this stuff that we've been talking about so when you get into a, a space with somebody it's like meeting family you're like oh i can just be myself mm -hmm. and share and be open without mm -hmm. worrying about if somebody's going to judge me totally. so i know something that i try to do in my own personal life is when I'm interacting with other people, I'll just try to embrace them fully, even if they may be doing something I don't agree with, like the TSA agent that, you know, felt me up because I took an opt out. <laughs> <laughs> I thanked him and I meant it. Like I really thanked him for what he was doing, even though, you know, I don't really believe he's actually making us safer <laughs> right. in his mind. You know, maybe he, that's an intention and I honor that intention, you know? So, so yeah, I just wanted yeah. to, to share that. I thought that was important. So. <sighs> Hi, Man, everybody. <laughs> what yeah, what We're so, folks, if you want a picture here, we are, it is It is now very pitch black dark. We have stars. Uh, wow. We have stars Fine above trees. us that are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Which stars can you see? Uh, and oh, the man. trees here are so sentient beings of whoa. Yeah, Beautiful. me and Yvonne had a group hug with a tree when we first got here, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not to mention feeding Bambi. And yeah. <laughs> we fed some deer, yes. Oh, these deer came right up. I'll and have to put that video baby. up at some point. Yes, yeah. pretty amazing. And um, this whole, I'm just, there. again, uh, there's no words. There's Derek and, there. Oh, oh Derek. there it is, folks. Here he comes from his stroll. Did you just get dropped off by now some kind of ship or what? <laughs> Here he comes. We got We're ten, live on air, friend. Come on in. Now, for, before, as left. Derek is walking wait, 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 to the wait. mic. Dee, 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 dee. This just in. It's Derek Faust. He yeah. just had 10 flyovers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Folks, the, Derek Faust is joining us. Right, Go ahead, right. I was just going to introduce Derek real quick. Oh. He's been... Um, you could probably do this yeah. better than me, actually. Yeah. Uh, Derek, okay, so folks, if you've been tuning in, we've done a couple, gosh, how many shows have we done now? Three, four, two, three, yeah. four, oh, man, something bunch. up there. Yeah. 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 Derek and I met, a, a, a year. it's been one year since yes. we met. Yes, last and August. My God, oh, craziness, right? And here again, this is amazing. So hello. <laughs> uh, so Derek has been having light beings interdimensional beings they are tr translucent energy balls of light mm -hmm. and then some and he takes amazing videography of them for posting them on your page and um you want to take us in take us in. and welcome everybody hello we've Hi. got hey there's we've eric also got eric, eric rains, rains here yep. he uh, does yep. implant removal which is very fascinating yes we, we will get the chance to talk about about that on saturday i think we're doing uh, show or sunday morning sunday okay yes live show sunday morning and, uh, breakfast yeah so um so yeah Derek, why don't you talk to us a little bit? What did you just encounter out there in your walk? Uh, so we were out just kind of watching the sky or watching the stars start to start to appear. Uh, you know, as the uh, as the sun went down, it got darker, and more and more stars started to show up, and we started to see uh, these what looked like stars just cruising along in the sky, mm -hmm. right? And we had talked like previously about what to look for when to kind of uh you know when you're when you're looking up in the sky kind of to know that you're not looking at a satellite right, right? right. if mm -hmm. it creates its own iridescence if it you know doesn't move in a straight line mm -hmm. and stuff and so we pretty much saw all of those different examples wow right oh. we saw these yeah. uh yeah. you know yeah. lighting up mm -hmm. and dimming down and lighting back up dimming down and then just disappear disappearing right. right before reaching the end of the of the horizon so wow fascinating i get to see you eye to eye we've been doing <laughs> podcasts for like years. right this is it's so great balls, yeah man. i so, love this yeah it's so much different over skype so so everybody that eric did you see them yeah and yeah. come on what's up 
Uh, well, there was a few of them that we were just looking at that were moving pretty slowly across the sky that didn't really do anything special. But, I mean, there were two of them that we were watching, and they lit up really, really bright. And uh, then they dimmed down, then they'd light up again, and then they'd keep on going. So, I mean, it wasn't like a meteorite or anything like that yeah. that would burn itself up because really there was nothing afterwards, you know? Yeah. Colors? Yeah. Yes. Blue. Blue. Yes, blue. So yeah. blue, uh, white. White. Uh, yeah, yeah, just like a really bright star. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. What did you all really feel neat. about the show this evening? Oh, you know. Did you? Were you? Yeah. We, we weren't were able. No, we weren't oh. able to hear it. No. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, really? Right. No, kidding. No, oh. no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There was a little bit of technical issues in the back there. Oh. So that's yeah. Like so that's why, that's why we're. That's why we ended up on a watch. Yeah. Right. We're gonna go get a story for you know when uh, right. we get back on. So yeah. hey, we got and ten got flyovers. You're welcome. Did they? Did they? How big? How far away? How big are they? Uh, in the sky. So, so yeah, they weren't like close to us, like in our atmosphere. It yeah. was, it was much farther out. Much farther. So about out. the size of a star when you're. Yeah. Like, okay. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, but it it would you're brighten so up happy. to be <laughs> it would brighten up to be the the brightest thing in the sky. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, uh, um, but not not like the biggest thing in the sky. Right, okay. sure. Not like the moon well, right. We're looking forward to some of that. Yeah, I'd we? like to. I got a, a tour of your <laughs> light ships. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Oh my gosh. We'll have and to go to Castle just, Lake to oh, Castle yeah. Lake is the yeah. place. Scope it out. Yeah. Okay. Does cool, any cool. hey listeners out there? Do you have any questions for Derek? For Eric? Anybody here tonight? Anybody? Just let us know and type it quick. We're kind of winding down. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're winding down. Five minutes left or so. I, uh, we, we run the show, man. Right. <laughs> we got it. We can do whatever we want. We can we do want. whatever we want. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so if you have any questions, do let us know. And I, I'm pretty darn sure Derek and Eric, Derek and Eric are going <laughs> to have like amazing more stories for a Sunday morning. So yes, um, I, make sure I, y'all tune in for that. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't want to say the story what? that I want to tell, but oh. it's definitely involving. Um, okay, do you want a, to save an, that? An animal <laughs> in the forest that's pretty mysterious. Does gotcha. it by okay. chance howl and knock on trees? <gasps> it could. Oh. <laughs> I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> oh, so two, yeah. So there's some pretty exciting stories coming Sunday morning breakfast. Bring the coffee. <laughs> no, but it's going to be, I can't wait yeah. to hear about this story. Yes, yes. And I'm thinking, oh, and then if you, hey, and if you're just tuning in here at www.fulldisclosurenow.com, make sure you check out our show calendar at the website there because we can have some amazing folks come upcoming. We've got Edie Kaito, Bigfoot. We've got Bernard Gunther. We have, oh my goodness. So many things going on, and mm. I we're what are we running on three hours of sleep I or know. something? I, I don't like, know if I got any sleep list. last night. To be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Well, yeah, that works. Oh yeah, wait. Og Tele- uh, Eric, you're going to be joining us. Yes, ma'am. Og mm-hmm. Telez, Eric Rain, Spencer E, me, and we're going to be talking about heart chakras. And so those are upcoming shows. So please make sure you check those out. We do appreciate you tuning in tonight. The replay after this show closes, the replay will be out. Share if you dare, folks, because the only way that the sheep are not going to sleep is if you share, right? That's right. So Sharon's come on. Karen. Yeah, Sharon is Karen. Mm-hmm. So anybody, anybody at KP, you have any, you have anything you want to share before we wrap up here? And- oh, it just feels great to be connected with like-minded spirits and mm. yes. uh, with nature out in nature mm-hmm. and with the with the you know with the deer and yeah. laura laura eisenhower and i we both had an affair with the bees yeah 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 i heard about that a little bit yeah you got <laughs> yeah. stung or something yeah. I, no, think no, I, just, a, I think it felt more right. like a kiss really really okay. it wasn't it wasn't a sting Aww. it was a kiss Aww. yeah so, i yeah. like that kiss yeah. by a bee Kiss by a love bee. It, love it. That'll be a movie next week. Kiss <sighs> by a bee. Kiss Stay by a bee. <laughs> yeah. Right? Cool, right. cool. Anybody right. else? Any, any? And we're joined by some other stillness in the storms people out here. And by the way, do let's do a shout out for stills. Do okay. It. Go, 
Say, hey, who am I? Oh, look, yeah, everybody, everybody in. Look what you did. You brought all these people I know, right? together. <laughs> well, I, I can't Thank take you. the credit. All I did was create this group. And really, my vision for creating this group was to create a space for people to interact with each other. I really wanted to do that because I knew that interaction was important. Like, one of the reasons we're so happy about being here is because we get to interact with each other. So the fact that this group allowed all of you to connect with each other and then come here was just amazing. I'm overjoyed that that, mm. that happened. So a shout out to everybody mm -hmm. in the group. Mm -hmm. Awesome for participating and uh, continue to do so. That's right. And I can, well, who, I can hear the voices. Well, who else is there? Who's with them? We got Matt. We got Eric, we got KP, we got mm -hmm. Derek, we got Debbie, we've got Karen. And back there again, folks, is Renee. Look at him back there. I know. We're winding down. We yep. are, we are. <laughs> and hey, yeah, uh, who is it here? Did it, yeah, Kenna Taylor is asking about Bigfoot. Please do tune in for Sunday morning. We'll be discussing maybe. Dun, dun, dun. Bigfoot. Dun, dun, dun. All right. <laughs> tune in Sunday so, morning. Yeah, Sunday, we Sunday, ready? Sunday. We ready? Yes. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yes. Are we ready to yeah, rock? Sure. All right. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. www.fulldisclosurenow.com. We are going to be doing live feeds. We're going to be taking videos galore. Uh, tonight, I, we get we were watching Corey Good doing his video. Mm -hmm. video was it vlog? Blog, yeah. His vlogging. So I know he's going to be working on posting some new stuff for you. Oh, by the way, and, let yeah. me interrupt you real quick. On that score, anybody who's at this event who has a, a camera yes. pointer and, and wants to take Thank some you. footage and then submit it to Corey, he would greatly appreciate it. So I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I don't know how, but yeah, yeah just we'll uh, figure that and out anybody. Later, yeah. I think at the conference itself. Well, right? the conference yeah. itself. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Because yeah. right. And and if you're oh, by the way, we are doing that show Thursday night, uh, the post Shasta post show. Post Shasta show. For yeah. those of you that are like, gosh, really wish I was there. You are here. You are here with us. But you know, we'll also we're going to do a recap of updates events and everything that's coming forward to us in the next two three days yes right we good yes we're anything good anything else we'll get what we got oh. oh we got nothing that needs to be aired on the air <laughs> well ah. thank you everybody for listening um is there other stuff that you wanted to nope we're good yeah we're we're wrapping up so stay tuned for more all, all right. right uh yeah be until safe. next yeah, time yeah until next time be safe be kind be courageous folks and again take care and thank you uh for tuning in tonight over and out take care